Hi guys. Smarty here. From the channel Smartest Ranger. In our previous videos, PLC instructions. Lesson 01. We learned about basic or relay type instructions. We try to learn them on paper and then we try to understand them via inserting them on programming page. We also check their behavior on simulator. If you have not seen our previous video, then go to our channel. Smartest Ranger, and take a look on our video, PLC Instructions, Lesson 01. In this video, PLC Instructions, Lesson 02. We will learn about another category of instructions. Timer Instructions in PLC Programming. Timer is a very important instruction use in PLC programming. Basically timers are frequently used in programming to create time delays. In situations when you need to turn off a certain process after some time. Or you need to turn on a process after a certain delay. Or you need to turn on or off a process for a specific time. You use the timer to control the situation. Here our purpose is to give you the concept of timer. All PLC softwares have normally same shape of timer. Pins of inputs and outputs may be differ. But you should not be worried. You can take help from its manual. Okay, now we move forward. And try to understand its concept. Here. Its first pin. S is used to start the timer. Or to trigger the timer instruction. TV pin is used to set preset time value. R pin is used to reset the timer instruction. Q pin is used to see the status of a timer instruction. BI pin shows current value in BI format. BCD pin shows current value in BCD format. In PLC's programming different types of timers are used. These are Pulse timer Extended pulse timer On delay timer Retentive or extended on delay timer Off delay timer And etc. First we take a look on these different types of timers. Then we will try to understand them via inserting in a PLC program. And after simulation we will check their behavior. Our first timer is pools timer. When you want a pulse for specific time only, you should use this timer. Its working principle is when S input detects the change of signal from 0 to 1. Timer starts its timing and output cue energized until time elapsed. If the signal change on S input from 1 to 0 before the time elapse. Timer stops and output also change from 1 to 0. And if the signal on S input is 1 and timer is running and suddenly there is high signal on R input, then timer and output stops immediately. Let's come to understand about its working concept via using trends. In first cycle consider. If there is a positive edge at the start, S, input. Timer starts its timing and output Q also gives 1 or high. The output of timer Q is 1 as long as the timer is running. In second cycle. If the S input of timer change from 1 to 0 before time elapsed. Timer stops and output Q will also be changed from 1 to 0. In third cycle. If the input changes from 0 to 1 on pin R. While the timer is running. The current time and output Q are also set to zero. Our second timer is extended pulse timer. Extended pulse timer is slightly different from pulse time. When S input detects the change of signal from zero to one. Timer starts its timing and output Q energized until time elapsed. If the signal change on S input from one to zero before the time elapse, timer does not stops until its timing complete. And output also remains 1. If the signal change on S input again change from 0 to 1 before the time elapse. Timer start its timing again from set value and output remains 1. And if the signal on S input is 1 and timer is running and suddenly there is high signal on R input. Then timer and output stops immediately. Let's come to understand about its working concept via using. Trends view. In first cycle, if there is a positive edge at the S input, timer starts its timing. 
an output queue also gives one or high. The output of timer queue is one as long as the timer is running. In second cycle, if the S input of timer change from one to zero, before time elapsed, timer complete its timing. An output queue will also remain one. In third cycle, if there is fluctuation on pin S, then timer remains running. An output queue remain one until time elapse. In fourth cycle, if the input changes from zero to one on input R, while the timer is running, the current time and output queue are also set to zero. Our next timer is on delay timer. When you need a delay in your logic O operation, or you can say that output should be energized after some time, you should use on delay timer. When S input detects the change of input signal from zero to one, timer starts its timing and output queue wait for completion of set time. When set timing of timer completed, output energized, and output remain energized until input at S pin changes from one to zero. If the signal change on S input from 1 to 0 before the time elapse, timer stops. If the signal change on S input again change from 0 to 1 before the time elapse, timer start its timing again from set value. And if the signal on S input is 1 and timer is running and suddenly there is high signal on R input, then timer and output stops immediately. Let's try to understand its working concept via using trends view. In first cycle, if there is a positive edge at the S input, timer starts its timing. And when timer complete its defined timing, output queue start giving one or high. The output of timer queue is one as long as the input on S is high. In second cycle, if the S input of timer change from one to zero before time elapsed, timer stops immediately. In third cycle, if the input changes from 0 to 1 on our input, while the timer is running, the timer stops. If you want a timer which complete its timing, then this timer is best suited for you. Retentive on delay timer starts the specified timing if there is a positive edge at the S pin input. Timer completes its timing. An output will be high. The timer will be restarted, re-triggered, with the specified time if there is a fluctuation in signal state at input S input. The timer is reset only if the reset R input changes from 0 to 1. Let's try to understand its working concept via using trends view. In first cycle consider. If there is a positive edge at the S input. Timer starts its timing. And when timer complete its defined timing. Output Q start giving 1 or high. In second cycle, if there is fluctuation on S input means input change from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1. Before time elapsed, timer reset to its predefined value, remains in running condition, and complete its timing. In third cycle, if the input changes from 0 to 1 on our input, while the timer is running, the timer reset immediately. Off delay timer. Off delay timer is another type of timer, which is different from on delay timer. If there is a positive signal at the start input S pin, timer energized, but its timing not started. In this condition it also gives one at output. Off delay timer starts its specified timing. If there is a negative edge at the start input S pin, output remains one until timer run. If the signal state at the S input changes again to 1. While the timer is running. Timer stops but Q remains on. The timer is reset when there is 1 at R input. While the timer is running. Let's try to understand its working concept via using trends view. In first cycle when input on pin S is high. Its output also goes to high. Timer energized but its timing not started. If the signal state of I0.0 changes from 1 to 0, the timer is started. When timer complete its timing output stops. In second cycle. 
if there is fluctuation. Timer reset to defined value, remains in on condition. And wait for low of signal on S pin. In third cycle. If the input changes from 0 to 1 on pin R. While the timer is running. The timer reset immediately. So guys. You see how different timer instructions behaves? We try our best to understand you the working concept of different timers instructions. Try yourself to make simple programs via using these timers. We are assured, after practicing, you would be able to play with these instructions. In our next video, we will insert them on our programming page. And we'll see their behavior. Via live simulation. So for more informative videos, stay on channel. Keep watching our videos. Thanks for watching.